Hey, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. Today we are going to find out who is thinking heavily about you right now and why. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. All right, Leo, spirits and angels, please show me who is thinking heavily about Leo right now and why. Ace of Swords in my first. For some of you, maybe you're not speaking with this person right now. Ten of Swords also can indicate either both of you are not together right now. Um, this indicates an ending, right? It has already happened, I feel. This is an ex, uh, Leo, most likely. Nine of Pentacles in my first. This person could be thinking heavily about you because they wonder if you still need them, if you still want them. But also, Nine of Pentacles in my first can indicate somebody whom is still, uh, whom is whom has gotten into a new relationship, okay, or into a relationship. Um, the Hermit here may indicate this person could be a Virgo or could be somebody like you are, Leo, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, can be any sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay. So two of wands is here, so this person is wondering how you're doing. They are kind of, they're trying to decide something in regards to you. And a two of wands also can get maybe this person because he is holding a globe here. It doesn't matter he or she, not gender specific, but um, they could be living far away from you in an, another country, in another town, different state, okay? Three of wands is here, four of wands and love first. So this person is longing for you, thinking about you for sure. And four of wands here in love first can indicate uh, maybe your connection with this person is no longer there or both of you were in a relationship uh, in the past but now separated. But for ones in members may not always mean separation, although there could be. And these two cards here can indicate separation, but could also indicate maybe currently your connection with this person is kind of shaky and not stable right now, okay? There could be some hurt and pain, ten of swords. Um, <clears throat> the Empress here is in reverse. I feel like this is somebody you have given a lot, nurtured this person a lot. And Page of Swords is in reverse. This person is actually they're thinking a lot about you and wondering if, yeah, very clear. These two cards here, wondering if you're with somebody new. Are you married? Who are you with? <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. And also the Page of, sorry, Page of Swords in reverse can indicate that they could be spying on you and or stalking you. Ace of Pentacles is right here. Yeah. Or it could be them, Leo, thinking about offering you commitment, wondering if there could be a chance for, for both of you to start anew. But for some of you, Leo, hmm, I feel very strongly where your person or this person is trying to figure you out. Okay, The Hermit is a Virgo energy, so this person could be very analytical. Um, they could be searching for some answers, okay? So they could be thinking heavily about you. They could be reflecting also in regards to the past here. King of Wands, you're right here. Um, this person also could be thinking heavily in regards of how good looking you are, how charming you are, how much they still want you, the desire you. Okay, let's see more, Leo. But Knight of Wands and Lovers, maybe you're not paying attention to this person right now. Uh, perhaps the lovers in my first could be a decision that either one of you could have made to let go, liberate yourself from this connection with the fool here. So you got the king of swords. Leo, I feel like maybe this is someone you have made. Again, a very tough, firm decision that you will have to cut this person off, right? Uh, perhaps, Leo, this person also could be acting really cold or maybe they're not talking with you um, or they act like they don't care. But deep down, they of course they do right with the hermit here. So they constantly reflect over what had happened between the two of you, and also the fool also can for me indicate maybe they could be thinking, strategizing, uh, wondering if there could be um, a second chance for the both of you take a new leap of faith with you, with the fool here. And but for some of you, Leo, if you have already completely walked away from this person. I sense them suspicious in regards to what you're doing. Again, it could be work-wise, it could also be relationship-wise. Hmm. Let's see more, Leo.
Yeah, this person could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Queen of Cups, and Love first. They also could be thinking about how you, whether if you love them, and also Five of Pentacles, or if you still love them, if this is someone you, uh, you have disconnected from. And Five of Pentacles here, and Two of Pentacles. So they miss you, right, Leo? They miss you a lot. So they've got their ups and downs here. They could be weighing the pros and cons, whether to talk to you, reach out to you, solve whatever, whatever issues both of you may have with each other. And also got the death here in love first. So if you're separated from this person right now, they, they are considering returning. However, if both of you are not separated right now, because death and rovers can indicate a delay in some sort of an ending, um, they could be thinking about whether you're going to leave them or if they're going to leave you, either or. But I feel like most likely, Leo, this is someone, hmm, ten of swords. Most likely, I, I would say at least 80% of you, this is someone from your past, an ex who may have hurt you terribly here with the Ten of Swords. They may have betrayed you, lied to you, cheated on you. Hmm. You could have made a very firm decision to, again, cut this person off. Both of you may have had an argument or some sort of altercation in the past. And Leo, if you're focusing on your work right now, you're focusing on yourself right now, uh, Leo, they could also be thinking about you with the Queen of Pentacles, if this is you, if you have uh, Earth somewhere in your chart. Um, thinking about how stable you are. So something about you have changed. Maybe you have changed from the Queen of Pentacles to the Queen of Swords here. Maybe in the past, <clears throat> you were very dedicated towards them, towards the connection, but you no longer do. Maybe you could have given them an ultimatum uh, or cut them off. Hmm. But this person is thinking heavily about the past, of course. Um, especially with the Five Pentacles when you were there for them through difficult times, when you've helped them perhaps, but the Three of Wands is here, so they are longing for you and they're des deciding, the two twos here, two ones, two pentacles here, so they're trying to decide something here in regards to you, in regards to maybe reaching out to you, Ace of Pentacles, offer you either a commitment or an apology. They wonder if you're still interested. They wonder if you're still interested in them. The hangman here is in love first. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. Yep, again, strong indication that maybe this person lives far away from you or that they want a second chance. They wonder if you've already changed your direction in your life, like some changes perhaps could be career or movement, like if you move to someplace else or if you're, you've gotten into a new relationship or if you've gotten married, okay? Four swords here is in reverse, so they think about you a lot for sure. The hangman in reverse. I see them trying to figure something out. Five of swords here can also indicate them spying on you. Um, see a little bit of a sneaky energy here, Leo, so they're wondering how you are doing for sure. And I sense them also, again, planning and strategizing, but they're not 100% sure though, if they would like to reach out, if that's such a, if it's a good idea to reach out to you, okay? Um, especially if, let's say, if you already have somebody else or if you've already completely moved on, so they may think that it's not such a good idea, but they're thinking about that, okay? And all the past hurt and pain, the sufferings, Ten of Swords, Five of Pentacles, things, how things ended between the two of you with the death card here. All right, Leo, this is your reading. I hope you resonated. Uh, if you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with my latest video on the screen right now. This video is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. I just uh, posted it a few days ago. I'm not sure if I already said that. But um, I went to a mall and I bought a couple of gifts for my boyfriend. So check it out if you want to. Um, bec I, I filmed this because I'm at Trinidad and Tobago. So I just thought it would be um, you know, a simple content. Perhaps some Malaysians would like to see how a mall looks like in uh, Trinidad and Tobago. But anyway, check it out if you want to. If not, again, it's fine too. I'm also going to be leaving you with a playlist on the screen right now. This playlist has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions. Um, 
just click on it, scroll all the way down, look for your sign. There could be some other important messages for you over there. And these readings are still valid readings because they are new, okay? So you guys know I post your videos almost every single day. And also, Leo, I'm open for personal readings. If you would like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Just send me an email. For those of you who like to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. All right, take care, Leo. Bye.